Hi guys, today we'll be sharing with you the brand Orin. So this is one of the top tier Orin Star dress watch. We open it up. So we can see the watch. Today we are talking about this Orin Star. Uh, it is a retrograde uh, day automatic. Okay, so put it aside. So what we have here, we have the the book manual book telling you what's inside a relax language and then we have the international guarantee so you have here so mostly that the watch um, having two years I think of warranty and then we have the tag and uh, we have the extra link so this is the model number and the price that's it so look at the watch here so first thing first look at it so this is a 40 millimeter diameter watch I think a, uh, maybe 13 millimeter in thickness and then a uh, 22 I guess 22 lock uh, for the strap size and then this is a 50 meter water resistant watch therefore it doesn't have a screw down crown and then it uh, rocks in its in-house movement 40A50 I think so and then with a power reserve indicator so as you wind the power indicator will turn can you see it okay so the bracelet is the combination of smooth and shiny polishing finish with a single clasp to open it like that and then you have the orange star logo here so overall I say the it's not bad I think it's better than Seiko ones <laughs> so let's talk about the dial so it comes with a creamy white dial you can see some yellowish here and then what do you have on the dial we have a power reserve as well like we said we have the seconds we have the minutes we have the hour and we have a day date so something to look at is the, the date you see number 31st and first of the month are sharing the same uh, they, they means it doesn't have a dot between them which means if today is 31st and then you can just use it like normally but if it is not then you remember to turn them around to let it become first okay but because with the date uh present so if you turn it manual uh like how you do a, a full 24 hour turn then the date will proceed as well so you need to manually change one day so another thing about this is the date when it reaches sunday and it will just spring back boom go back to monday which is quite interesting and then you have the logo here with uh, which leave it with no functionality here so you can see the watch there is only loom on the hour and minute hand and also the outer uh, 12 hours marker the rest is just high bright polish finishing okay so put the watch on my wrist now So you can see that 40 millimeter works just well but this might be harder to go under the sleeve as it is quite thick but overall it's quite nice yep. it's not very heavy too so now we will do some settings so first of all it two times up is to it has a hacking the seconds hacking so we can change the hour and sec and minutes here so first thing first we will change the day and date to the next day which it changed for the day and date and then we move it to somewhere safety pulling it out once 
you will be able to change the day and date so for clockwise I do it again it's the day so when you reach Sunday it will turn back so I'll turn it to Sunday first and then I will change the day anti-clockwise until 30 okay so example today is 30th and then it's Sunday so I, I plot 12 I plot twice and imagine it's running for a full day so it will go back to Monday and this one will stay at 31st to one hour uh, to first of the month so depending on is it a 30th or 30th 31st month so if today is supposed to be 31st then you will just leave it like that but today is supposed to be one then you need to I'll turn it more to make it to safe place safe zone and then we will turn it if our uh, so remember is anti-clockwise so just turn it once hey, sorry like that so do you turn it once here and then you use it so they must uh, there might be some confusion when first using this watch but overall this is a very fun watch and look at the back so you can see there is some simple polishing on the automatic module there and then on the base plate too they have some simple polish so this watch it is uh, the accuracy i think is not bad but it is running at 21000 600 bit per hour yep so it is recommendable to you if you want to have um, a low budget but having a lot of um, need of needle or a point you know they have like one two three four five six six needle on the dial which is quite hard to get at this price so thank you very much today and see you next time